Hello, in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you're going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator and of course here's the problem. We have 8 divided by 2 and times 4. So what is the answer? Of course most of you out there are like, yes I can handle this, this is basic, I can handle this problem, it's basic division, basic multiplication, I'll learn this stuff in the third grade, that's fantastic, yeah? So go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one minute and then of course I'm going to really kind of emphasize this extremely important math topic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer, okay? So the answer is either going to be like 16 or 1, right? So some of you have the correct answer as 1, other have the answer as, as 16, and of course this can turn into a big argument. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is the problem. Obviously, right, we have, we have 8 divided by 2 times 4. So now what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem, right? Do we do the division first and then multiplication or should we do multiplication first and then division? Okay, because obviously whatever order you select, okay, is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. <clears throat> And that's for this little acronym come in right here and again we are talking about the order of operations. We are talking about this type of, of operation, mathematical operation, yeah? So SMS operator is a thing like, like addition, we have, we have subtraction, we have multiplication, we have division. So mathematical, mathematical operations. Everyone knows this operation and we need to know about this operation if we wanted to solve this problem. Okay, so these are things that we can do with the numbers, right? So mathematical operation, these are basically the main ones we need to understand. So basic operation we need to understand. So again, let me just read, read this to you. This is PMDMC order, the main popular order. Every, every internet resource works with this PMDMC order, the main popular order in the world. So again, let me just read this to you. This is parentheses exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. So now, now a lot of students think and you know it's really not their fault. A lot of students make this error so you know obviously there's confusion about it. But most people think that you're, you're going to do this in a strict left to right order. In other words, what you see from the left hand side you're just going to go to the right hand. And you're going to do that in that exact order, from left to right. In other words, what you see from the left hand side, you're just going to go to the right hand. And you're going to do that in that exact order. In other words, you're always going to do multiplication, all right, before, before division, and that makes sense. And then, of course, you would do addition before subtraction. However, that's not the way it works. <laughs> Okay, so how does it work? Well, it works in this way. You're definitely going to do the parentheses, as I described. So you're definitely going to do the powers right here, powers or exponent. However, you are going to work from left to right, but when you get to the multiplication and division part, mul multiplication and division part, you're going to do it whatever you see comes first from left to right. So in other words, if you have division then multiplication, because we are going from left to right, so right here we have division multiplication, we are going from left to right, then you are going to do the division first. So this is like one group right here, and this is like another group. So if you have multiplication then division, then of course do multiplication first, and then division. But if you have division, then multiplication, you are going to do it in this way. Okay, if you made this error, I'm happy you made it because you won't make this again. You'll be like, oh no, I get it. And so let's go ahead and apply the order of operations. Now pretty easy stuff. So here is our problem, okay? So anytime you're faced like a numeric expression, you'll get better at this through practice. So you wonder with thinking to yourself, okay, P and DMC order right here and we are going to solve it. So you move on to the next thing. Now I'm going to say, all right, 
are there any powers and parentheses exponent powers right here we don't have it so no i don't see any of those so now i now i'm thinking to myself multiplication and division i would go right here and i will go 8 divided by by 2 so right here 8 divided by 2 and times and times 4 so right here we will have like 2 times 4 we will have like 8 8 divided by 8 equal to equal to 1 which is absolutely incorrect answer which is wrong answer so you want to be thinking in terms of group right here so we have the first group right here so this is incorrect incorrect answer and right here i write it once more so 8 divided by 2 and times 4 from left to right the first group this is the first group and this is our second group with these two we have the second group we have the second group so we want to be thinking in terms of group so multiplication then division or division then multiplication and now we are scanning do i have a multiplication division well of course i do i have division and multiplication so now i'm asking myself which is first from left to right first is division i have division before multiplication from left to right so i'm going to do this so 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 this is the first group and the next step we need to multiply it by 4 because we do the thing with this group and we have times 4 which is equal to which is equal to 16 so that's the only thing that left to do which of course is which of course is 16 okay now some of you out there if you plug in if you type this into like a basic calculator so this expression if you type it into a basic calculator on your laptop some of those calculators you know are just going to do the problem as you type it in and in but if you use something like more sophisticated like scientific calculator certainly like graphic calculator where you can just type it type this problem like this and then hit enter you'll see that the answer is 16 that the answer is 16 and you ask me why it is we have like all same calculators right here and the answer is the next one because your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation so if your calculator give the answer 16 your calculator is smart enough but if your answer is one you need like to to find another calculator and of course these calculators are like scientific calculator and maybe graphing calculator so this is really interesting to check this to check this answer so definitely don't feel bad if you don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic math interesting brain test iq question right if you are struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept subscribe to my channel i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure so this is really interesting problem so let's real quick solve this problem again so you see a problem okay and you go with this pmdmc order real quick just just a few seconds real quick pmdmc order first you see a problem look first parentheses i don't have parentheses no i don't have parentheses exponent i don't have parent i don't have exponent the next you need to see like a group so multiplication division is like a group right here this is not like a first first division then multiplication or multiplication and division this is like a group and addition as and subtraction this is like a group yeah so you see right here we have multiplication multiplication division so this is really great we don't have addition subtraction so we have only these this line multiplication and division and if you don't have any parentheses right here so if you don't have parentheses you go from left to right real quick divide then multiply so but if you have for example like parentheses take a look closely we, if we have like 8 divided by 2 and times 4 but right here we will have like parentheses so if you look to this we need to work with parentheses at first so this is really important moment if you have parentheses you need to start with this and if you want to 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 get this one you need to put parentheses right here so 2 times 4 equal to 8 and 8 divided by 8 equal to 1 so b works only when you give these parentheses right here but if you want the correct answer the correct answer is option a so this is 
my approach to this problem. So I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. So thank you for your time and have a great day.